Check in, South LA. Check in. Check in, South LA. Check in, South LA. Check in. South LA. There we are. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, check in, check in. It's your boy, Mason Light 3 We're at Ground Zero, where the wall is being repaired by Ink One, the original artist who painted this mural. Uh, I think almost a year been up almost a year and a half now um now as far as i know of the initial report came out as uh you know as quick as it happened uh from different different media sites who pumped you know uh, whether or not some individuals were involved we've already had vandalism uh that we were dealing with on the other mural that ink one is uh already painted so Again, that wall, a lot of people were trying to find out what, what was up with that wall on some of the comments is not uh, ready to be, you know, fixed at this particular time for whatever reason. Um, but however, this wall is going forward due to the sensitivity and the quickness of brothers who got on this topic. And uh, again, I stay in my lane and I think the brother stays in his we're about the peace making of this issue not the negative part of it so I, I can't acknowledge when black people are about to do black on black crime and we will not acknowledge that what we will acknowledge is that the wall is being restored and paint can always be put back on the wall but a person's life can never be replaced so keep that in mind when you start you know making comments about you know why we not showing certain things and why we not a part of pushing the negative narrative of what this man meant for so many it was not to be uh you know obviously trying to take the life of another person because if that's the case he would have never helped everybody in everybody's hood and uh as well as religion wise and uh stem cell research and, and, and dr save he wouldn't even be talking like that if he didn't mean a bigger or have a bigger picture than what you see on this wall. So it's important to know that, you know, Satan exists in all colors. And, um, you know, we got demons, uh, all walks and talks of life. I don't care what color you are. That once that prevails, well, there's a positive energy that goes against negative. It's nothing that we can do about that. That's nature. That's the way God made it. So... For those who feel like, oh, Ink One is painting the wall a hundred times over. Why is he doing it? Well, then why is God keeping you alive after you didn't sin and probably did a lot of things in your life? And why do you get a second, a third, and a fourth chance to basically get it right? That's why he's doing it. And it takes a marathon. It takes a community to get it right. And uh, it takes us to keep doing this over and over again, putting out the story of the great Nipsey Hustle, so it can mean something to a kid walking by who might want to know the story of what this man taught our community in 2019. So, and whether or not you feel he game banged or not, it doesn't justify or de justify the issue of heaven and hell for a gang member or a robber or a thief because Jesus died with a thief and a murderer on the side of him and was resurrected. And they were allowed to go into heaven. If that's what the books teach, well, it'll take the uh, the craziest killer in the world and forgive him. So in this case, this should be forgiven. And, you know, we're not on the negative part of it. We're definitely pushing for the re restoration of not only the marrow, but of the feelings of the community to uh, come back into, you know, order. So this is, you know, already being worked out through several groups and, uh, and they all pushing positive energy on this particular situation. We're not and we will never, ever push the negative narrative of violence on our people or any other people as well. So I just want to say that. Um, so, yeah, you definitely want to plug Ink One's cash app as he goes along because I got food, resources, paint. Let me show y'all. This paint right here is $20, $30 a can. And the brother's doing this out of his own pocket. And uh, 
you know, he might have to come back out here probably tomorrow. We don't know. Or maybe the next week. We don't know. And he has to have paint ready because the faster we get on these issues and exterminating the uh, wrong of whether or not people want to push a gang narrative to get us to kill each other, he's going to need paint, emergency paint ready so that people feel like, you know, that, uh, you know, he's respected and honored and that he won't be, uh, you know, respected by being put back together as soon as uh, these things happen. And when I say that, I mean his mirrors, his, his, his CDs, his shirts, because there's other people pushing his products over here as we speak, um, you know, that face attacks from the police and from, you know, probably other people who roll by who don't agree with, you know, what they stand for over here. Like, again, I'm Muslim. I stay in my lane. But uh, with that being said, we honor all of our ancestors, both young and old, from any area, from Africa to L.A. to Chicago. George Floyd murals are just as important as Nipsey's, uh, as well as Kobe Bryant. So it's not about Nipsey's mural, it's about our ancestors, our black images uh, being attacked. So we allow Nipsey, then you allow Kobe, then, they, then you allow George Floyd, then you allow, you know, all the other murals around the city that depict our history. And where we came from and where we're going at this point. So I need y'all to understand, you know, if you're young and you want to tag on something, this is not what you do, my brother. You you tag on a wall or that's empty, you know, make your point, you know, another way if that's what you want to do. But any type of gang writing or just, you know, hate writing in a sense is uh, definitely, uh, you know, not accepted at any time especially on artwork because these brothers really take their time to create their craft and there is a rule on graffiti yeah i don't know if you know the graffiti rule but this is not considered uh a tagging this is considered art so with that being said there's rules and regulations to the art of what this brother ink one is doing and other artists uh, uh, you know that paint murals and there is added charges to vandalism uh, in the vandalism of city property where murals are on. So you might want to read into that before you get to just painting over murals because that's an added charge. And it could be a hate crime or some other things additionally added to when you, you know, destroy artwork. So with that being said, I'm going to be giving y'all an update as Ink One. Uh, finishes this mural and again we're controlling the positive of this narrative we're not pushing hate on anybody no group nobody should be retaliated because a wall can be fixed a person cannot so I'm just telling y'all what it is so I, I seen a lot of hate messages I think everybody understands you know when somebody does something like this that's a hater move that's all it is and um I hope the brother gets some help. I hope the brother is, uh, we're praying for the brother to basically understand the lessons of his father, his, his, his OGs, and listen to them. Don't be hard-headed when they come at them or come at him with a lesson. Everybody learns as they get older. So we're, we're asking the brother, you know, the youngster, you know, to learn from this and to grow from this and uh, understand why the elders are now talking to you and trying to get some sense into you before you know you make any other choices and we hope you make and raise your family brother go get a job and do something positive if uh you know that energy is young and it's, it's crazy it's wild we get it but your point has been made but you definitely got a long road ahead of you to understand why some of the older OGs is pulling your collar right now and trying to basically save your life, brother. So I hope you take the time to listen to some of these people who, who actually been through what you went through and about to go through uh, in this experience. And uh, we're praying that that brother, not, no harm comes to him. And we're praying that he learns, you know, the respect everybody, no matter who you are, that's, you know, black. 
That's just what it is. So I'm going to stay on my lane. It's your boy Mason I33. As it goes on, Cash App, E N K O N E. Please, y'all, Cash App, E N K O N E. Let's keep this brother's paint filled up today. Let's get him some food. And if you don't have Cash App, why don't you guys come by here and give him a donation? Drop off some food, drop off some water. You know, get down here and try to donate and keep this wall ready to be defended as well as the other mural there on Slauson and Brownhurst.